Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial today how to create uh, perfectly made product photos for your online store using a white background. So here is a perfect example of what we're going to be doing today. I've taken a photo of a wrist wrap that I sell on my Shopify store. Check out the store, it's called asagathletics.com. The link is in the description. Um, for more of my photos basically what I've done is I've taken photos of these products and I've removed the background to have a nice clean crisp looking photo it looks highly professional if you ask me and anyone can do this if you have the GIMP software and guys it's free to download uh, if I can do it you can do it too trust me it's fairly easy to do um, so what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and open up GIMP I'm going to open up the file that we're going to be editing today. Uh, this is the picture we're going to be using. And um, again, as you can see, very simple, crude way uh, that I took the photo of the, of the product. I laid out the two wrist wraps, which you use for, you know, wrist wraps are used for powerlifting or bodybuilding purposes. I put it on a double white sheet, two-ply sheet layer put it on my coffee table and I simply took a photo with my camera phone or my phone camera and if you have a better camera the better lighting you have the better the quality will come out but really this is all you really need to do so once you have that you can open up the photo and you can manipulate it in GIMP I'm going to twist this around I don't like it the way it is so go to image transform rotate it 90 degrees clockwise because I want to get it vertical now the second thing you're going to do is right click the image and duplicate that layer so you have a duplicate layer go to colors choose threshold <coughs> and we're going to use the threshold tool to separate the foreground and the background of the product and the white background using black and white contrast so you can mess around with this to get as sharp as a contrast as much as possible but you, what you really want to see is defined images around your product corners to me that looks good there's not a lot of fuzz coming out on the edges so I'm going to select OK and again you want to separate black and white so I'm going to choose the black for my products choose a nice size color here or for the paintbrush and go through it inside using the black paintbrush as you can see I'm trying to stay within the lines but even if you mess up like I did over here I'm going to deliberately mess up this is not a big deal because you can actually clean that up at the end and I'll show you how to do that because it's important to learn how to do that as well mistakes can always happen it's always important to learn what to do if they do so again I'm making sure going through the wrist straps making sure that the product is blacked out and then afterwards whoops that's a little too much I'm going to control Z and afterwards you can obviously go through and make the background white that's that's good enough for me now again select the white choose a bigger paintbrush and go around the back to make that white oops I kind of touched my wrist straps over there you want to be careful of what you're touching you want to go around the edges as thoroughly as possible you want to get all the black pieces you want to get the entire background to look white because again that's what we're trying to do here what we're trying to do is separate foreground and background using colors black and white with the threshold tool okay so that's that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, my original layer right click add alpha channel that adds a layer of transparency beneath all this go to my copied layer and using the color picker tool select that and click on the white background so what is done it's selected the white background now I'm going to go ahead and delete this entire layer with that selection still there click delete key on that layer so that layer is gone here we have the original photo and you'll see that the selection is still selected simply press the delete key to remove that background layer and as you can see right now if I select none you'll see perfectly that we have a transparent image over here so if you wanted to save that image as a transparent image you can go ahead and do that and use that for your purposes it will take whatever background you put it on but we want to create a white layer background so I'm going to go to layer 
new layer, white, press OK, and then I'm going to scale that down. You have to move it in the background, so move it down, and here you go, you have the product on a white background. Okay, so remember I screwed up in a few places over here. I'm going to zoom in when I was filling in the black on my product. You can go around by, if, in order to clean this, you can choose the paintbrush tool, get a nice small detailed size brush, and go around the edges. Oh, make sure you're selecting the right layer. You can go around the edges and try to clean it up. But honestly, if you ask me, it takes too long. If you have a if you have a simple product like mine, which is nice, square, defined, it's not circular, choose the lasso tool, the free select tool. Zoom in closely along the edge of the product. Try to get as close to the edge as possible, and go through, click through the blurred out edges of where you made your mistake. This thing, as you can see, it goes piece by piece, so you can, you don't have to go in all one fell swoop. You can select many different coordinates. Loop it all the way around. There you go. Make sure that it's selected and copied and outlined. Then press the delete key. And there you have it. The mistakes are gone. All right. So as you can see, if you really zoom up, the pixels are not perfect. The edges are not perfect, but honestly, when you put this on an online store, when you put this on a web, even by using the zoom tool, your customers will not be able to see those imperfections. Okay, so for me, honestly, that is perfect. You can see here, I see another um, little shading over here or shadowing. I don't like that, so I'm going to go around there and delete that. And it looks good to me. I'm going to go down here. I noticed some shading. Obviously, you can zoom in. Oh, here's a portion that we missed when we were whiting out. Select that. Delete. Go down here. Select that. Delete. Guys, as you can see, this is a very quick way of doing things. Again, if you really want to use the paintbrush tool, it's helpful in getting very detailed mistakes out of the way will probably even look a little bit better but honestly for the results I'm going for and what you'll need it for on a Shopify type store or online it won't make that big of a difference because I'm going to show you the end result and I think you will agree with me again here's another portion that I didn't like I wanted to get rid of like that Select none just to show you what it looks like now. You zoom out. There you have it, guys. That is the finished product on a white background. To me, it looks pretty crisp, clean, clean cut. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go to File, Export as JPEG file. Save it in my wrist straps. And I like to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to say red black two sizes picture export that make sure that it's saved the pop-up comes export that and I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like on my store this is the admin portion of my Shopify store I've already added in three images to the black and red wrist wrap I'm going to add the fourth one which is the one that we just saved which is down here double click that I'll show you what it looks like on the store right after it uploads in real time it's come up guys so you just have to click on the view on online store and it takes me to that product page I have three more pictures here scroll down here is the fourth one that we just added if you ask me it looks quite clean quite professional it blends in perfectly with the background color which is white even if I zoom up as you can see, you can barely see any of the feathering or the edges on the background. Guys, I think it's a fairly straightforward thing to do. We did it in about 10 minutes or less. Uh, you can even do this quicker, the more proficient you are in GIMP. But practice makes perfect. Here's a couple other examples of products that I've whited out the background with. 
and if you ask me they look pretty nice coming from a beginner so guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found the tutorial useful and uh, if you have any questions or comments below please please reach out to me and I'll be sure to respond thanks again and until next time see ya